something happened. My husband went upstairs to our balcony and let himself go. You must wonder why you drove him to it. Why I didn't drive him to it. I thought it'd be true. But if you had given him the chance to apologize, he'd still be alive. What? I really quite appreciated about the film was there it wasn't subtle I liked how kind of in your face all of the kind of metaphor and the imagery was did you find that maybe easier or more challenging to play as an actor I guess just if you want um I don't know I don't really feel kind of conscious of mm. much when I'm filming you just kind of stand up uh, you know mm. stand opposite the person you're standing opposite at that time which happens to be Rory all eight times yeah. <laughs> um and you just kind of get on with it. Mm. Um, but that's what I also like love about Alex is that he's kind of bold like that, mm. you know? He's not kind of making something palatable or like right. he's really kind of just being a bit punk about it mm. and just putting it out there. Mm. So um, yeah, that was exciting. It wasn't subtextual. It was like, no, this is the point of the film and you're gonna see it and understand it. Kind of, yeah, but I think also it's not, he's not saying this is what it is. I think mm. he's asking you as an audience to kind of mm. lean in and, and and experience what it might be to you. Mm. Um, he never offered any answers. Like, right. I think it's kind of a fable in that way mm. where you're like leaning in towards a kind of fable of some mm. sort and mm. you've got to kind of come out and, you know, have a chat or debate about it after you've seen it and see mm. what, it stirred up for you. Mm. And Roy, obviously you you play all these different men who are also still kind of part of the same fabric, as it were. Body. D yeah, or the I born mean, part of the same body. Yeah, but <laughs> it, it, I mean, that was absolutely fascinating. But what I thought was most interesting was that even though you, I kind of had a feeling going in that like all the men are gonna be awful in this film, you still, right until the end, have that hope that Jeffrey's gonna turn out oh, to be like the no, one no. good guy yeah. and you're kind of, I know right I know, <laughs> it's like yeah. did you did you consciously were you like aware of how that was going to how did that inevitable conclusion play into the way you developed the character well i guess uh, i guess i sort of knew uh, on the on the page that all, all of these were you know within the spectrum of male aggression from mm. a reasonably benign one like jeffrey through to obviously more active aggressors um, uh, but equally i i didn't i couldn't play just mm. that note uh, so I had to create all of their life, and within their lives, Harper is quite a tiny little moment in mm. it. Um, so what what about their lives leads them to be offhand or leads mm. them to be uh, challenged by a, a woman and also by a, a strange woman, a woman from outside as well. Uh, so that was sort of a question when I sort of began to put together all their biographies that mm what about them necessarily uh, would lead to the, the behavior that we see. Mm. Um, and I think they probably all did, to a certain extent, have a sort of a seam of loneliness within mm. them. Um, and so I guess with that point, and you don't have to fall in love with your characters, but you mm. do have to sort of understand where they're coming from. Right. Um, and so I guess when you begin to understand where all these characters come from, you end up having a bit more sympathy for the choices that they make. Right. Did you... Was there one that you felt most endeared toward? I mean, Jeffrey, everyone's felt seemingly quite mm. endeared towards him. Uh, and it was interesting to see people's different responses mm. to just who came out of the trailer in the morning. Um, <laughs> and, ah! and <laughs> with a really wide range. I mean, yeah. like people were pretty frosty to some of them. Right, um, right. And then, yeah, when Jeffrey was on set, it was kind of party time. Yeah, I think the vicar was particularly off-putting to me. I felt like, ooh, because there's a power dynamic there too that was different, I think. Because obviously, what, one of the things I also liked was how each man put a different sort of expectation on Harper as a character, right? There was like, there was the bitch, there was the harlot, there was the temptress, there were all these kind of different, the unwilling mother kind of element to it. Did, for, as the character, did you kind of, did you have to internalize any of those things in order to react off of them? Or were you just kind of, I'm Harper and I'm going through my own experience oh no like I think you can't you can't really ever act on your own mm. <laughs> right anyway and right. I think my kind of I felt like my job was in some way to to internalize them mm. and be affected and also 
take that and tell them to kind of F off. Mm. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Which she does many times, yes. which I love about her. Um, yeah. Uh, but we had a good, you know, we had a good time. We, there was a lot of laughter on this. Right. Uh, even though that was kind of a kind of heavy kind mm. of subject. Yeah. In some way, there was there was good, there was a lot of laughter in between and sometimes during takes. Yeah. There's, <laughs> there are, I mean, there's moments of humor in the film as well. I found there were points where you could hear people like, do I laugh? Do, like everyone's like, huh, oh, wait, should yeah, I be yeah. laughing? Because this is actually yeah, yeah. quite scary and serious and affecting. Yeah. But those balance, I think. I think that's quite... Uh, people feel quite grateful for those moments mm. where you can kind of let go a little bit and then mm. l be lulled back into this kind of discomfort un or right. uncomfortability. Right. Um, but I think also that that being asked to laugh is mm. increases the unsettling nature yeah. of the film. Yeah. That thing to you, yeah. I, am I allowed to? Yes. You know, should I be? Yeah. <laughs> Have they got this wrong by allowing yeah. me to laugh? Like, yeah. is there a, is this a fault in the film? It's unsettling. Not? It kind of puts you. Yeah. yeah. You a... never are on even ground. Yes, exactly. And I think that that, that mm. we're talking about the the sort of the impact of it mm. and the the way that it is provocative and asks mm. questions of an audience is by constantly constantly but by wrong footing them at mm. points mm. Um, and saying this is a, a this is within the genre of a horror film that you all know and maybe love mm. uh, but those things that you expect I'm going to give you some of them but others I'm going right. to completely flip the script on pull it. the rug yeah. out a little bit yeah.